In this lecture, we will talk about the application of hyperbola. And here is the example. Uh, this example says that uh, two microphones are placed at points negative C0. That's one microphone here. And another microphone is C0. Basically, those two points are focal points. OK. Yeah. Two forces. Now, an explosion occurs at point P, right here, this point. Having positive x coordinate, that means on this branch of the hyperbola. There are two branches. And then, as shown in the figure below, the sound is detected at the closer microphone t seconds before being detected at the further microphone. This tells us that when the explosion occurs here, this microphone hears first. And then this one is far away from P, so this one, this microphone hears the, ex uh, hears the explosion later, which is T seconds later. Okay. Now, assume the sound travels at speed of 328 meters per second. We want to find the equation of this hyperbola on which the point P lines. So basically, we want to find out this one. Huh? OK. You may find two branches. OK. All right. Now, first thing we need to understand is that the travel distance of sound is the speed multiplied by the time. Okay, we know that the sound, the uh, speed is, uh, the distance is always the speed multiplied by the time. In our case, is that 328 meters times time. That will be the distance. Okay, we were told that the microphone here is Here's uh, the explosion first, uh, which is t second ahead. And that means this one is t second later. So the sound will travel how far and then reaches the second microphone. It will travel uh, 328 times t this many meters, then reaches the second microphone. Okay. Yeah. After the uh, the sound uh, heard by the f the microphone right here. Okay. So one more time. After the sound uh, of the equation, uh, the sound of the explosion was heard by the first microphone here. And then the sound has to travel this distance to reach the microphone here because this one is far away. Okay, yeah, far away from this one. This one is closer to the explosion uh, position. All right, now we know the uh, if the the difference of the distances uh, is a constant, and we know that's a hyperbola. Okay, the differences of two distances is a constant, then that will be a parabola. We want to recall that the standard equation of hyperbola. This is the one. Okay, with the 
foci an x axis and the vertices also an x axis. Recall the standard equation of hyperbola is given uh, like this or was found like this by what? By studying with the difference of the distance is a constant. You see, D stands for distance, and P1, uh, F1 is means the point P and F1. This is the distance of these two points. And then here is the stands for the distance of P and F2. So the distance, the longer one minus the short one, will be the difference. The difference will be a constant. Then the trace will be a hyperbola. Okay, so this is we started with. We assume the difference of the distances is a constant was 2a, and then we found this. So basically, combining the information here and the information here, then what do we get? We know again the after the sound reaches this microphone, it has to travel 328t this more distance to reach the second one. And then here it says that the difference uh, of these two distances is a constant to a it basically tells us 2a equals 328t. So that's what we should get. 2a equals 328t is 2a. Yeah, 328t is 2a, then a is this much. Okay, again, basically both sides divided by 2. Or you may say multiplied by one half. Two two cancel each other, so A stands alone. The right hand side is ten three hundred twenty eight times T divided by two. So we know A. And do we know B? If we know B we are done. But you know B is C squared minus A squared. C is always the biggest in hyperbola. Huh. In ellipse a is the biggest. Huh. No. C squared equals A squared. A squared is that. I want to square this one. Okay, 328 T divided by 2 squared. We do further. Is C squared minus numerator squared 328 T squared divided by 4. 2 squared is 4 because this squared goes to both, uh, numerator and denominator. Now we have a b, we have a, we can write the equation, because in this case, vertices or forces are on x axis, so a should go below variable x. Okay, so let me put it right here. All right, now, so x squared will be equal to a squared, a squared is this one squared. Subtract y squared over b squared, b squared is this one, equals 1. Now the rest of the business is to make this one a little bit more recognizable. You see, if both numerator and denominator multiplied by 4, and multiplied by 4 here is everywhere. Then you have this 4, this 4 cancelled. So the new, uh, denominator will be 328 t squared. And then upstairs will be 4 times x squared. Okay. Similarly, 4 times upstairs, 4 times downstairs for everyone. So 4y goes upstairs, 4y squared. And downstairs is basically 4 times c squared minus this 4, 4 cancel each other, 
So you have a 328t and then squared. Now we like this for uh, in front of x and y, we like this one be 1. Uh, so then you do is everywhere divided by 4, 1 fourth, or times 1 fourth. The right hand side has to multiply it by 1 fourth. Uh, okay. So what do we get? You then have what? You then have this for this for cancel each other, so you have x squared. Downstairs is not changed. And here this for this for cancel each other, you have y squared here. And again, downstairs is not changed. Okay? Downstairs is 4c squared here minus 328t squared. Okay? Because this is both sides multiplied by 1 fourth, so you have 1 times 1 fourth is 1 fourth. Okay? 328t squared is both 328 and t both gets squared. Okay? So is the case right here. That will be the final solution. Remember, here uh, we times 4. We didn't times 4 on both sides of the equation. Because here is we try to uh, make this for upstairs. So basically, you know, this numerator, both numerator and denominator times 4 is only act on this quantity. So is the case right here. It does not affect the right hand side. Okay, so we got that. But here one fourth is that both uh, sides of the equation multiplied by one fourth. That's why how we got one fourth here. Okay, and here you get rid of that. And four c squared still will be kept right down here. All right. Okay. So please review this lecture. I'll see you next time.